Hello, so today I'm going to show you how to repartition your Noob tablet in an easier way. Alright? Um, okay, I'm going to turn on USB storage. Okay, it's working. <clears throat> okay, now the partitions um the media partition and my SD card have mounted to my PC. Alright now if you can see um here in the media partition uh, aka my nook okay I have uh seven point forty five gigabytes in total okay so um this is <clears throat> not good I, I want to change this Alright, so I'm going to show you how to do it very easily. Okay. Now, first I have to unmount my Nook tablet. Okay. The bottoms there are gone. Now I go to my Nook tablet. And I turn off USB storage. Okay. After that, you can just unplug the cable, the USB cable. Okay. Now you're going to need uh, Max Dots, um, Clockwork Mod SD card, or a Circle Lens. Um, uh, clock hormone, okay. I already have it uh, loaded in here in this tiny mi micro SD card, and I'm going to put it in, in my new tablet, okay. First, I'm going to shut down my new tablet, Okay, I'm going to shut down my new tablet. Power off. Okay. Okay, now, now that it's powered it off, I go and change the micro SD card. And I put the the one gigabyte. I have is uh, one gigabyte cloud warmer SD card. I use the Mac dot uh, cloud warmer SD card, which you can find in this thread. Okay, this thread recovery new all cloud warmer and stock recoveries for eight gigabyte and sixteen gigabyte of tablet. You can find the Mac Dots uh, Clockwork Mode SD card in this read, okay? So here is, uh, it's with uh, nice tutorials I have made. So you can go through step by, by step uh, without a problem. Okay, so now that I have explained it that, I have changed now the SD cards with the Clockwork Mode SD card. I'm going to turn off. Uh, I want to power on my Nook tablet and it should boot to the clock remote SD card. And there it is, the box. Okay, now that I'm booted uh, into a clock remote. I'm going to plug uh, the USB cable again. Okay. All right. Now um, it's fine. You can leave it right there. Just don't touch anything. All right. Now we go back to the computer. Let's minimize this and this. 
and we are going to open a, um, a terminal to make use of ADB okay I have set up uh, my command prompt uh, to automatically um, uh, start in the path where I have um, ADB tool okay so that's easier I don't have to type the whole path where my ADB it is okay so now I'm going to type uh, what commands? Well, MacDots made it easily and he posted a few commands to repartition after many people like have asked how to do this manually in a better way, right? Okay, so here it is, the commands that I'm, these commands I'm going to translate it to my repartition thread and I'm going to deprecate the, the other method, alright? So now you see here it's a very very few like two, four, five, six commands in total. It's very very fast to do. Okay, so all you have to do is just select, copy. Okay, and now go back to the here go back to the command prompt and paste it okay but you're not going to paste it there so it's going to remove this you have to first uh, get into adb shell mode first I'm going to type uh, adb devices and you have to make sure that your device shows up in there. You're gonna see uh, my serial, my ID number. My serial ID is showing up in here. That means that Clockwork mod, uh, like uh, that ADB is recognizing my new tablet. Okay. So first you have to make this. Once uh, it recognizes your device, then you have to log into ADB shell. ADB shell. Okay, it already have uh, super user permissions. You you see the symbol in here, so that means that it has super user permissions. Now, you can go ahead and paste the first command. All right. Now you're going to hit enter and wait a bit, and that's it. It says uh, about uh, warning: the kernel is still using the old partition table the new table will be used at the next reboot the operation has completed successfully okay that's fine now we are going to issue the next command this command uh, this second command it's going to delete remove the partition 10 and the partition 11 Okay, now we go ahead again, copy, paste, enter. It's working. Okay, so anyways, the operation has completed successfully, that's fine. We go to the third command. This is third command, copy. This is going to um, give uh, the, the media partition um, the size that you prefer and then uh, give the rest uh, for user data which is the partition number 11 okay so this uh, number here plus 12 G that means uh, 12 gigabytes for the media partition you can change this to the value that you want okay only this only you have to change this the 12G for the value that you wanted for your media partition aka my NUC okay so I want to have 12 gigabytes for my media partition so I'm going to leave it just like that if you want I don't know 10 gigabytes or less or maybe 
11 or whatever, then you change this value here. Okay, only this, the 12G. Okay, now that I have it ready there, I just hit enter and that's it. Operation completed successfully. Now we are going to the fourth, to the fourth command. Copy. We go back to the console. Paste. Now this is going to give uh, the names, the proper names uh, for the partition 10 and partition 11. The partition 10 is going to be called media and the partition 11 is going to be called user data. That's all for just renaming the partition, that's all. Okay, operation has successfully completed successfully. Now, we, we have, uh, we are done with the repartition thing. But we have to format them to FAT32 file system and extension 4 for the user data partition. We have to, now we, we, we go to format the partitions. So we select this command and this one is for repartition, media partition to FAT32 file system. I'll paste. See, it says MK, MK, DOS, FS, F32. That means FAT32. For the MMC, VLK, 0P10, that means that this is the, the partition number 10, which is media. Hit enter. It's working. Is done, okay? Simple like that. Now we're going to the to the last command, which is for repartition the user data partition to um, extension four. Copy, paste the block eleven. This is user data. Now it's working, okay? It's working, it's working. Not yet done. It's gonna be done where there here. When you see the the symbols in there. Okay, so we're done now. So now all you have to do is uh, to reboot if you have uh, a custom ROM already, please just try this. It's better if you try this um, in a custom ROM. Uh, preferably with root because I tried this in a stock pure stock partition after actually recover or restore my nuke and it didn't go that well I mean I, I issued these commands exactly as I did just now and it left me with um, a smaller media partition I don't know what happened even though I gave it 12 uh, gigabytes of size so please um, make sure you use these commands uh, in a custom ROM okay with a of course with a custom kernel basically because of that the custom kernel all right and make sure you you <clears throat> of course that you have a, a clock remote installed internally all right now we're going to get out of uh, ADB shell I hit exit and we're going to get out of ADB okay so exit and the window closed now we go back to our new tablet okay we can now disconnect or unplug your USB cable and we have just a plain clock remote in here Okay, so all you have to do now is uh, reboot. You can just select the uh, reboot system now or as uh, the internal, uh, as user data uh, was uh, cleaned up, you can just go ahead right now and uh, restore uh, your backup. Okay, just restore your backup of CNN mode 7, CNN mode uh, 10 or whatever you want 
and, and that's it, you're ready to go. After you restore your backup, you, uh, you have to reboot your device and that's it. Okay, now, uh, as I have, uh, I don't care about the user data, uh, I'm just testing around, so I, I don't mind. I'm just going to go ahead and reboot system now in uh, Cloud Run, okay? That is going to boot straight into Xeonogen Mod 7, my self-modded uh, version. And the moment of truth is that I have to mount the partitions into my PC, and then you're going to see if the if the size of the media partition uh, change actually to closer to 12 gigabytes so so that way <coughs> sorry that way um, you are going to see that it, it actually works okay I have my this ready oh great Okay, this is no problem. You just hit the four sizes. The four sides. Okay. And there it is. Yara, yara, yara. And that's it. Okay, now I'm going to plug uh, the USB cable again. There it is. Okay, and... I'm going to mount the partitions. Okay, turn on USB. Okay, it's working. It should be uh, mounted by now. Let's go back check. Here they are, and here it is. This is the media partition, aka my Nook, and you see it's empty because of course we we formatted it. And, and look. It has now a new value, 11.9 gigabytes of size, which it means that the commands actually worked. Okay, I gave it 12 gigabytes, but it's, this is uh, the closest that it can be, and that's fine. Okay, so that's it. Uh, this was a tutorial made by Veronica and to show you how to repartition your Nook tablet in an easier and faster way. Goodbye.